here in this video we are going to see various stress intensity factors i'll write down the stress intensity depends upon following factors the first one is stress concentration also called as notch sensitivity second speed at which the load is applied third thermal shock load so here we have three factors on which the stress intensity depends that is stress concentration called as notch sensitivity speed at which the load is applied and thermal shock load next i'll start with the detailed description first stress concentration now stress concentration it means that when there are internal holes cavities or grooves present inside the material then stress will be concentrated at these locations that is if a material is there and inside that if we if there are holes or some cracks or cavities present then stress will be concentrated at these locations and when load is applied to such a material then cracks will develop inside towards the outside surface and if the value of applied load is greater than the cohesive strength of the material cracks are formed so now as i have written here for stress concentration if internal holes or cavities are present inside the material then stress will be concentrated at that region because wherever material is less stress will be maximum and cracks will start developing if the applied load value is greater than the internal strength of the material so that is an example of stress concentration next speed at which the load is applied now for the speed example here i can say that if the load directly falls on the material from a height then the stress induced in the material is very high compared with the load which is applied slowly so in the stress intensity factor the second point is the speed at which the load is applied if the load is directly applied or directly thrown on the object from a certain height then the stress developed inside the material will be very high compared to the load which is applied very slowly so because of high internal stresses the material may break 
directly without giving any prior plastic deformation that is the material without deforming in a plastic manner it will directly break that is it won't bend it will directly break there won't be any plastic deformation visible it will result in the direct breaking now example to determine load falling from a height we can use there are two tests by which we can calculate the amount of load which is falling from a height and that is izod impact test and sharpe test so this was the second factor considered where we are seeing the speed at which the load is applied that also increases the stress and then the last part is thermal shock load now it is like an example that when a glass is heated then it may break a glass when it is heated it may break because there exist two different surfaces that is one which is heated and the other which is cold so glass being a bad conductor of heat will not transfer the heat and as it won't transfer the heat from high temperature to low temperature region internal stresses are developed and when a small amount of load is applied over this then internal cracks would develop and which would result in the failure of the glass and similar example we can take of a metal that if a metal is heated and then it is suddenly cooled and then the load is applied then it may result in brittle fracture so thermal shock loading the example is mostly of brittle materials where they can break without giving any prior warning so in this video we have seen the various stress intensity factors starting with stress concentration also called as notch sensitivity speed at which the load is applied and thermal shock load